Several boys high school basketball sectional championships played out in our area tonight. Winners get home court advantage in regionals while the losers have to travel. Wheeling Park and Morgantown going to battle tonight up in the University City and that's in front of a huge crowd at Morgantown High. The Patriots jump out in front early courtesy of Boo Lathon. Watch him avoid the defender, convert on the pretty land. Park leads by seven. Going into the fourth quarter, Mohegans cut that lead down to three. Nathan Adrian gets a hold of the ball and lays it in. The park was just too good tonight. It's Lathon again. It's the strong finish and the Patriots capture the sectional crown 51 to 41. The Bears and the Bees played two nail biters this season. Would tonight's game be another classic in Fairmont? Bees lead five to four, but then it's all senior Van Jones hits the three ball. Then Jaron Hilson shows off some moves with a crossover and drive to the hoop for two. Into the first, Jones puts up a floater, and of course it goes. Bears up 21 to seven after just one quarter. Anthony DeVito for East Fairmont tries to get something going. He hits the jumper. Bears on the run out. Hilson with the easy bucket and Fairmont senior routes East Fairmont 72 to 46. Bridgeport hosting Bird and the most packed I have ever seen Bridgeport High School will go straight to the good part. Fourth quarter Eagles leading Isaiah Hills jumper makes it 45 to 40 Bird. Tribe ties it up as Jordan Haywood hits a shot. Under a minute to play Bridgeport up one Bird freshman Devontae Birch drives for the bucket and draws the foul. About 10 seconds to go. Indians Tyler Sprouse to Connor Cornbrath. Game tied at 51. Other end of the court. Two point seconds it's on the clock. Bird inbounding last chance shot. It's Birch and he hits it. RCB beats Bridgeport 53 to 51. Lincoln and Webster County playing in Upper Glade Highlanders ball. Brett Morris to Andrew White. White for the three there and nothing but net. Lincoln working the inside. Jeff Hunter to Brandon. Basilari, the big man, uses his body for two points. Check this out. Joe Reese in transition for Lincoln, trying to sneak in an easy two. Morris says, not in my house there. Chris Morris with a little too much oomph for the Highlanders. Rebound, Brett Morris twists around for the putback. Webster County wins 60 to 44. And finally, wrapping up high school play tonight. T tonight, I'm sorry, Tiger Tally hosting Trinity, visiting Trinity and boys action. Promise I'll pull it together. The Bulldogs come out hitting on all cylinders. Jesse McGee. Pulls up from three and hits it. Bulldogs lead by five after the first. But Trinity makes a run soon after. Anthony Giardi gets yeah, a steal, right. Right. finishes at the other end. Then the Warriors use textbook passing by Cody Triplett for the bucket. Trinity beats Tigers Valley 80 to 70. Of course, there are more scores on our website along with WVIAC tournament brackets and highlights from this afternoon's conference room action. Westland and Glenville State women in the championship game tomorrow wow. and speaking of the WVIEC tournament men's game tonight Westland trying to get past West Liberty we will start early first half Bobcats show that they came to play Colby Walla buries the tray Westland with an early three point advantage West Lib's turn Chris Morrow drives nice bounce pass to Cedric Harris and that's good for two Westland answers though Reggie Chamber nails the mid range jumper Bobcats trail by only eight at the break Tied it late in the second half, but it just wasn't enough. West Liberty beats Wesleyan 87-77.